Hey, what's going on guys? It is Pastor Joe. Welcome to the Cup of Joe. Like I said, I'm Pastor Joe. I'm your host. And with me today is Darson. Hi everybody, it's me. We've got Darson in here with us at the studio today. Darson, man, how you doing? I'm Life going well? Yeah, pretty well. What's uh, What's been new? I see that you are taking the quarantine seriously, which yes. is a good thing to do. Yes. Um, how, how have you been doing with quarantine life? Pretty good. I mean, I now have a reason to just like stay inside. Okay. Are you playing more video games lately? Or? Yes, very. Yeah, I'm sure you're spending a lot of time uh, doing schoolwork and things like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Darson is joining us today. Um, and I'm so glad to have Darson here. Darson, tell us everybody real quick, what grade are you and uh, what school do you attend? Well, I just finished my sophomore year and I'm attending Lord Botot High School. Lord Botot High School, mm -hmm. that's right. Are you a Catawba crazy? I'd say I am a bit crazy. You are a bit crazy? Yes. That's why we like you. That's why we want you here <laughs> on the show. Yes. Well, Catawba crazy, uh, would you mind reading for us our scripture for the day? Today is June 10th and so we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 10. Darson's going to read for us verse 12 of Proverbs 10. Go ahead, Darson, take it away. Hatred stirs, up st hatred stirs up strife, but love conquers all offenses. Hatred stirs up strife, but love conquers all offenses. Man, that's a, uh, a pretty apt verse for what's going on in our world and in our society and our culture nowadays. Um, I don't know. What, what does that bring up in your mind, Darson? What are some things that stand out to you? Well, stirring up strife, you know, what's happening lately of people just going crazy around places because there's I mean it's not all bad it's just of course the people who do the worst things are going to be highlighted the most because that's how this world just thinks absolutely you know one thing that I've been really encouraged about and so I just want to encourage all you pastors out there um, especially in Lynchburg Virginia I heard that there was some protests happening things got a little bit out of hand but I heard that we had a lot of pastors join together for prayer and for worship together. I even saw videos. So that's a great way of making love conquer all offenses. That is a good way of, of living out that Proverbs 10:12. You know, uh, Proverbs 10:12 also makes me think of a game. I, I don't know. Do you know what game I'm thinking of here? Is it a game of where we think of things? It's a game of love it or hate it. So the way that this game is played is I have some cards here of some things that we are going to decide if we love it or if we hate it. Darson, you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. This first one, I already know my answer. Darson, do you love it or hate it? Clowns. I hate it. Hate it. Yeah. I hate clowns. Yeah. Clowns are creepy. They're too creepy. I don't know who ever thought clowns were funny. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. How about this one? 90 degree weather. I love 90 degree weather. You it's, love 90 degree weather? It's great to get a good tan. No, man. No, like mid to high 70s is perfect. I'm going to say hate it. I'm going to say hate mm. it. All right. All right. 90 degree weather. All right. How about this one? I think this one's pretty universal. Love it or hate it, wet socks. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. There's nothing worse. Yeah. Paper cuts. Paper cuts might be worse. No, I think paper cuts are not as worse. Okay. Wet socks. All right. How about this one? Sleeping with socks on. Oh, I do sleep with socks on, so you I must say I love on? it. Yes. Oh, man. So, you know they say everyone has a trait that shows that you are a serial killer? <laughs> I think that might be your serial killer trait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with socks on. That's just a little, little trait. My okay. goodness. How about this one? Pineapple on pizza. That's no. the big debate. No. No. No pineapple Absolutely. on pizza. The Absolutely. The sweetness... The, the, the juiciness on the pizza? You know. You can't do it, huh? You know, some Maybe that's my wrong. serial killer trait. Is I <laughs> yeah. like pineapple on pizza. Yeah. All right. How about TikTok? I do not have the talk of tick. You don't have the talk of tick? No, I do I not. I have the talk of tick. I don't like the tick talk, though. Mm. No. Not a fan. No. Not a fan. All right. How about this one? Quarantine. I love quarantine. I love it. I, I love it. hate it. Well, I mean, it finally gives me an excuse to be inside. 
See, it, it, it's keeping me away from. You know, I'm an extrovert, extrovert, and so it's hard for me being away from everybody. Mm. Do you, would you say you're more extroverted or introverted? I, I say I'm more introverted. It also gets really? me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. All right, quarantine. Okay, how about one here? I think we all agree on this one. If you're viewing at home, I'm sure you agree with us on this. Ignite, love it. I mean, I love I it. I love it. It is the best thing. In I the miss world. Ignite, man. I do too, man. Do you remember that last Ignite we had? That was just yeah, that it was, was a crazy. Night, yeah, man. it was real, real fun. Night. All right, this one here. There shouldn't be any mixed reviews on this, but mm -hmm. how about Pastor Landon? Love it or hate it? I mean, I love this dude. He has amazing skills. He's amazing skills, amazing friend. Mm -hmm. He's an amazingly good looking guy. Pastor yeah. Landon, gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Okay, square pizza, which let me say is the only way to have real pizza. No, no. Yes. It has to be circular. Square pizza? It must have a circumference. A circumference? Yes. A diameter, man. I'm all about the, uh, the, the angles. <laughs> The right angles. Mm, all right. That's pizza, mm. especially if it has pineapple on it. How about math class? You know, I don't think math class should be that important. I I'd mean, say, I'd say, I hate it, but I also love it because I don't have to do work in it. See, math <laughs> class was always the bane of my existence, man. I hated mm. math class, but now I see the value in it because you know I'm always figuring out hypotenuses and uh, and. Uh, uh, equations all the mm. time so well darson thanks for playing love it or hate it good job Yay. and for playing you get a cup of joe sticker look at that an official cup of joe sticker not for sale yet but they will yet be. maybe <laughs> we don't know Anyways, all right, so love it or hate it. We talked about some things that we love, talked about some things that we hate. Obviously, there's not consensus on everything, but when we talk about this scripture, um, talking about love and hate, we see how love and hate have very different effects on things, right? So we've got uh, how hatred stirs up strife. I don't know, Darson, can you give me a time maybe in your life where you've experienced how hatred stirs up strife? I mean, let me think. I mean, back, um, I don't know which year this was, but there was just some people that I just did not like. Yeah? Yeah, and they were real annoying people that I did not like them, and that probably caused a lot of strife yeah. in my brain. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how uh, when we <laughs> deal <laughs> with our own hatred or dislike of someone, how it can cause strife, uh, not just in someone else's life, but in our own life mm -hmm. as well. Um, and so, you know, how about love covering all offenses? You, you have any examples of that? I mean, yeah, I've had some times where love has covered all my offenses. Yeah, you know, I think about one time in my own life where uh, when I was in high school, I was this young punk hothead and I was struggling with getting through school, um, especially with my English class, actually, not my math class. Um, I can relate. And my dad and I got into a big argument and we... Uh, we're talking about what am I going to do with my life after high school and I got so mad I hopped in my truck drove off and long story short uh, it was like two o'clock in the morning I was parked on the side of the road and my dad found me now you'd understand I would be you know terrified my dad found me two o'clock in the morning I ran away and instead of coming down with the hammer my dad found me and he gave me a hug and he said, son, I love you. Let's just go home. And uh, man, that just, that stood out to me that his love covered my offenses and really strengthened our relationship. Oh. So it was, uh, it was yeah. a good thing. So, well, that is all the time that we have today for the Cup of Joe. Darson, man, thanks so much for coming out and joining us. Um, we will see you guys next week, next Wednesday at noon. You can catch us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. We will see you then. Go make disciples. Love God. Love one another. We'll catch you next week. And happy birthday, Amanda. This has been your weekly Cup of Joe starring Pastor Joe. Don't forget to catch us next Wednesday at noon and share this with your friends. And remember, next week, there might be a grizzly bear.